Hello, welcome to Hit the Bricks. Today I fully intended to talk about the subway and the subway station I've been working on, which was coming along pretty well. And then I saw a little bit of area down below it that I thought would be kind of a neat little space to use. I don't know, tell some stories, maybe show a little adventure or something. It was just enough space to be usable for minifigs. And then, of course, I went down the rabbit hole, as it were, and expanded that into this. Okay, stop. Let's just back it up for a second. Before we get to looking at what it expanded to, let's make sure we're on the same page and take a look at what it looked like prior to the expansion. Okay, let's recap. So last update, we had two levels of subway possible. We at least had one. And then the possibility of having two subway lines. As I look down below on the first level, the ground level, I was looking and I thought, well, there's some usable space down there. And then I kind of just played around with putting some bricks down and some slopes and such and realized a minifig can stand up down there. I mean, come on, this guy looks pretty happy working down there. Must be a nice place to be. So while I was working on the subway station, which I thought was coming along pretty well, like I said, it's got the glass roof. I'm like, oh, a nice little area maybe to just, uh, maybe you could put some tables up there and maybe some live music going on. Okay, great. So this is looking pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. Remember, we can go all the way around the table underneath because the subway system goes all the way to the other dock, which we can just barely see back there. But then while I was working on this, I kind of went over here a little bit and expanded it a little bit higher, put some more tunnels in. I'm like, oh, well that's kind of fun. And then it just kept going until it got just a little out of hand, just a little bit nuts. We've got water going in, we've got piping, we even got a rat. And then this, the subway on top of here, all the way across, which means essentially like this here, this whole platform that I just started, just kind of just putting up there just to see where it would be. It's not permanent by any means, but this is gonna have to be raised up to where these minifigs are here. So to be level with the second layer, is that the second layer now? We got this layer, we have this layer, and we have the subway layer, and now we have below that, in the sewers, and what's gonna be a whole underground network, the structural area of the city, and some different secret rooms, who knows what's gonna go on down there, Good storytelling. All sorts of different things. Oh, there's a rat or a mouse. And above this layer is gonna be the basement of the first building and then the building will go up from there. So before we had that straight area, now this is on an angle. Hello Baxter. I believe I'm going to cut this edge right here so cutting back the actual table so it's flush with this edge and then coming across here, sorry for the mess, and that's where the whole harbor area is gonna be and that will end here then. And then we'll have this new subway station and kind of the back area of the town, really. So we're gonna have some buildings here now. We have the building that's gonna be on the edge and then, of course, up on top is the main city. So city, kind of like the lower parts of, this, of the town. Not exactly sure, but I have some ideas for that. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty neat. So we'll have to see how that all turns out. But I like the angle. Uh, I like that angle better than how that was just straight before. So I think that's gonna give it a good look. I'm excited to get this glass roof 
with this level right here where the minifigs are. And then we're going to have that building that's going to go on top. So it's going to go right on the side here. So the basement will be sitting right here. The subway will go alongside the basement. These will be the underground tunnels underneath the basement. And then we'll have the actual building up on top here, which will come just, I believe, a little bit above this level, the top level. And then, of course, there'll be higher buildings here. Now, keep in mind, this is only one small little corner of the city. And I'm hoping to put this kind of detail with the underground network of tunnels and, of course, the subway to go all the way across the whole entire table. So this should be a pretty epic run. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if this sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and hit the, well, you can like this video and then hit subscribe and the bell notification because we're going to be doing this for quite a while all the way across here to build up an entire Lego city with, boy, I don't know, four levels now? It'll probably even be more. Okay, so let's just recap real quick. We took the subway from the straight path to this angle. We are going to put commercial buildings and such along here instead of just being the freight trains and railroad buildings. So I think that's going to tie in really nice to the main city up here that's going to drop down, still having some commercial, maybe some residential apartments and such, and all into here. So this, this whole area here is going to be part of the city that kind of just organically grows up on the top. I think that'd be nice. We're still on the other side here. We still have the, the warehouses and such for the railroad, but it's gonna give a nice contrast to this, what I'm calling kind of the backside of the city. It's only the backside because of the fact that you walk into the room this way and you have to walk around here. But this is ending up to be a really exciting and really interesting area, which I did not foresee before. So I would think we're gonna leave it there for today. I'm waiting on some parts to come in to finish this whole underground area. Should be in a couple days. In the meantime, I'm gonna raise this up and get this all situated so ready for when those parts come in. Start working on the basement subfloor for the building and then start building that up. So next update, well, maybe it'll be this. Maybe it'll be something totally different. I don't know. <laughs> I know there's one, uh, one thing that I've been thinking about it is the fact that I'm not making this modular. And that is something that may come back and uh, haunt me down the road. There's a strong argument to make everything modular. So if you ever have to move it or if you want to make some big changes to it, you can do that. And I've thought about it. However, every time I start building, it always just comes out organically and I just start building up. When I was building this, I wasn't even sure if I was going to keep that. I'm like, well, I'm just kind of building and see how it goes. And it just went the way that I wanted it to. I am going to try to make some natural cutoffs and some ease to separate it if I ever need to. Um, but that's going to be something that uh, is going to be interesting as we go along this journey. Um, not doing it totally modular. Uh, but, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, I am going to uh, be working on all sorts of projects around the city. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching this and we will see you next time.